Okay, welcome back to Beyond Exile. We are beginning Chapter 11 of Flamingo Lagoon. Uh, Frank and Tony uh, met in San Francisco at a poker game. They rented a Jaguar cross-country drive-away sedan. Stopped in uh, Mustang Ranch. Uh, they each had a lady for the evening. and uh, They were exchanging uh, philosophical debate about the world of consciousness on their travels across America. Uh, they've been driving all night, uh, for a couple of nights it appears, and they've driven from San Francisco to Reno, Mustang Ranch, through the middle of America, Cheyenne, Wyoming, Chicago, and now they're on the eastern coast, 3,000 miles away from where they started into uh, Westchester County, a very uh, expensive uh, uh, suburb of New York City, into Scarsdale, New York, and then we begin here with the, the township of Scarsdale. And uh, we're in the vehicle with Frank and Tony. And uh, we can go either west or east. Let's go uh, west. Uh, what's this in scene 81? The famous White Plains Antiques and Curiosities. This puts us in an antique shop. And uh, there's some paintings and some sculpture, some plates and so forth. But there's no interaction here. Let's try, uh, let's go back to um, the East. Scene 74, uh, the Woolworth Downtown Drugstore. And at the drugstore, there's Visine. Gets the red out for dry, itchy red eyes. So they take the Visine. After lifting a plastic bottle of Visine from a Scarsdale convenience store, Frank and Tony really get the red out and rediscover Superman's X-ray vision. So from driving all night and being bleary-eyed, air pair, they can go south now, and they can go east or west, and when they go east, let's go back for a second, because the first direction put us in Yonkers, the city of Yonkers, New York. So east of that puts us at Billy's home, whoever Billy is. And there is Billy, a new character, uh, his driveway. And there's a Porsche 911. Let's look at Billy. Nothing, nothing there. Speak to Billy. Frank's old friend doesn't have a gift for Gab. Let's look at his car. Very shiny, very sparkly. Porsche 911. Well, here's a driveway. And it says it looks like a European pre-owned car lot. So let's, let's park the Jag here. Because we've been driving all night anyway. And when we do that, it puts... The whole party here, Frank, Tony, and Billy. Now let's look at Billy and see what we got. Nothing. Porsche. There we go. And then when we take the Porsche, they pile into Billy's green Porsche 911 and hit the trotters and Yonkers. So Billy is a friend of, uh, apparently a friend of Frank's. And Billy, Frank, and Tony uh, jump into this Porsche 911, and they're headed off to the tr uh, the Trotters, which would be in uh, the Yonkers racetrack. There's Yonkers, and let's go uh, west. And that puts us into scene 77, the grandstands at Empire City Racetrack. And there's the betting window. Trying to parlay this timely superpower into first class tickets to London. The third race. Ten win on the nine horse, fifty on the seven horse, a hundred on six eight horses. Um, since we're broke, let's do the ten win on the nine horse. The boys can see the winning apricot silks before they flutter the finish line. That's good. So now we're in the sixth race. Here. Um, and now we have more money to bet. 
That's still bet the low one, 124 on the six horse. They're packing their pockets with 50s, when one last drop brings the red eye back. Let me look one more time. The ninth race, 275 on the three horse, 300 on the eight. Bet it all on the three by seven. All right, let's bet it all. Every trifecta goes south. Hervé Villon loses his whip, and Billy's thumb has them slipping out to a flamingo lagoon of losing tickets before they hear a completely bomb. And with that, that's the end of the betting window. Hmm. So we can go back to Billy's. Let's try parking this porch. Yeah. Well, let's keep tra traveling with, with Billy. And, but we can go south now from Yonker if we can do that before. Let's put us into scene 78, which puts us in Manhattan. Uh, we're in New York City, downtown Manhattan. With them. The three guys in this porch, now 11. From here, we can go. East, and then we go out to scene 79, which is LaGuardia Airport. So, <clears throat> perhaps Billy bought them tickets, I don't know. But anyway, they are, uh, there's a British Airways counter, so uh, Tony, I, you know, let's see if he's got a connection. So, there's the British Airways counter, and Brit Air. F7, flight F7, and it's two one-way boarding passes to Heathrow Airport, so there you go. So, we can conclude either Billy had some money and bought him a couple tickets, or maybe Tony has a connection in London that got him a couple passes, but here they are in LaGuardia, um, and they can get on this flight and see what it takes them to. We're going to take the flight. It takes us in the morning. It's going to put us in the plane. And it takes us across the scene in 91 London, Heathrow Airport. And this will uh, begin another chapter, so we're going to have to take a break here. This is a pretty short little stint called the Flamingo Lagoon, chapter 11. And when we resume, uh, Frank is out of the country. Uh, you know, he's broken his uh, parole um, from uh, Sergeant Tipton back in the, uh, the, the Cal Berkeley jail cell of, of Chapter of Recurring Dream. And Frank has set soul in, into British. He's landed in England with Tony, and uh, assuming that they'll probably. Uh, end up with Tony being the uh, travel guide from the next section. But we're going to pause it here. I want to thank everybody who is um, following this adventure. Um, and uh, we'll continue uh, shortly. Uh, begin the next chapter, which will be chapter 12, which will be called the Highgate Rumba. Thank you.